So she was entitled to be in the incubator. But unfortunately, that has been the problem that has contributed to Lodier's current situation. She wasn't placed in the incubator and she happened to have a whole lot of infections. Infections that has gone. So if there had been any earlier intervention, Lodia wouldn't have been in this position today as we see. But we act as we used to be. And our main objective, uh, one of it is to get Lodia into the educational stream. But apart from that, uh, the creature that she uses now is in a deplorable state. All the wheels are wearing off, making movement very, very, very difficult. Lodia has been in the room for several times because she hasn't got a movable wheelchair. Uh, an appeal to react that we have to do is to get Lodia a wheelchair ASAP, that is as soon as possible to make her movable and then to be able to assess former education. Uh, with what we're going to do uh, to ask the mother if she's been having some problems, what are some of the challenges that you have with her? In terms of maybe feeding her, taking her out, you have difficulties. At, at first, before I got the picture, yeah. before then, I have to carry Claudia everywhere I go. Yeah, this issue is very, very sentimental. The mother is saying, all she used to do is to carry Lodia at her back for any activity that she has to go. So it got to a time, um, I decided not to go anywhere at all because if you have a friend who has invited you for a wedding or like okay, a place uh, where you, you yes, see, uh, the a talent lot is... of people will be looking at you, always, always carrying you, yeah. so okay. I decided not to go. Yeah. Some places, some uh, so the, I got the, okay. the situation of Lodia has caused the mother to get out of former employment as we speak now. The mother has become the full carer of Lodia, the full carer in every aspect. She's out of job and she's 